This is the solution to question number three in uh, Linear Relations EQAO Practice Questions for Grade 9 Applied. In question number three, it says a box of crackers has different masses depending on how many crackers are in the box. And what that means simply is that the more crackers are in the box, the uh, more mass the box has. The graph shows this relationship. You're asked which of the following represents the relationship between the number of crackers n in the box and the total mass m of the box and crackers. So m represents the mass of the box with the crackers in it, and n is how many crackers are in the box. So you're given four equations here and asked to find which one is the correct one. So um, draw now in the way your question is given to you originally. There's just the four points here. So if you draw um, a line between them and extend it all the way to the vertical axis here, you can see that the fixed value or initial value is 50. Uh, the scale in the vertical axis, each block is 50, so it's 50, 100, 150, 200, etc. So that's the fixed value or the vertical intercept or the mass intercept. Now next we need to find the rate. So uh, I've joined the first two points together so to, to calculate the rate. So if we go from this point to this point, we're going across 20, because you see it goes from 20 here to 40, so from 20 to 40 is a across 20, and the mass is going from 100 up to 150, so it's gone up 50. So uh, remember the rate is rise over run, so that's 50, now it's actually 50 grams, it's a good idea to write the, the units so you understand what the rate represents, so that 50 is actually 50 grams. And the 20 is actually, there's 20 crackers. So I didn't bother putting an S here because the units we would say grams per cracker. So 50 divided by 20 is 2.5. So 2.5 grams per cracker means that that is the mass of each of the crackers. Each one of them has a mass of 2.5 grams. So if M represents the mass of the box with N crackers in it, then the equation would be the mass is 2.5 times number of crackers plus 50. So for example, uh, just to again show you that that is correct for the equation. So I've placed a couple calculations on the uh, on the page here. So for example, it, since every cracker weighs 2.5 grams, if I wanted to verify that point here, find my equation works, if I put 20 in the formula, 2.5 times 20, uh, plus the 50 on the end. See, 2.5 times 20, because there's 20 crackers in my example here, plus the 50 on the end, so that gives me 100. So notice that 20 crackers, the whole box with the crackers in is 100. If I did the 60 one here, if I put 60 in place of n, I would do 2.5 times 60, because there's 60 crackers in that box, each having a mass of 2.5 grams. So if I change this to a 60, and then add 50 in the end, gives me 200. So notice that 60 crackers should be a mass of 200 grams. That is correct. So uh, that is answer number C for question three.